Hello everyone. This is a lecture number three. We will discuss excavation in ordinary soil method of statement. Our explanation here will consider that our contractor company has awarded a road project tender. And how each BOQ item could be implemented in this case. This is what we call it method of statement, which is considered to be the catalog of cost calculations. Let it be known that not being familiar with the item method of the statement means not being able to analyze its price correctly. If you are a trainee or an incomplete experience analyst engineer, there is nothing wrong with doing this under the guidance of your instructor, or read and focus on each and every step here, which explains it in detail as much as possible before analyzing and studying. At the same time, the fresh price engineer is urged to seize any opportunity to watch how the item can be implemented on site work. In this case, the story of an item would be over for him. Strictly, I would like to declare a severe warning. We must be fully aware that landing any equipment for site work before the natural ground surveying is considered to be a crime. Not only against the contractor but against everyone involved in the project, whether the owner or supervising consultant. This is not only in the road project but in all civil engineering projects. We say it here, because it will not be mentioned anymore in the method of statement explanation for any other upcoming items. Because natural ground surveying is an obligatory measure before landing any equipment or machine to site work. Here is our first item. In cubic meters, excavation in ordinary soil reaches to the required levels according to the designs. The item includes transferring valid material to the backfilling areas within the project site and moving the excess or invalid to public dumps. Site Technical Office and Surveyors. 1. Horizontal Alignment Centerline Coordinates. The Site Technical Office Engineer prepares a list of the coordinates of the road centerline agreed upon by the supervising engineer. And delivers it to the surveyors. 2. Natural Ground Survey. A natural ground survey is being run after the coordinates of the road centerline are set out. 3. Natural Ground Survey Request Approval. Inspection request is submitted for approval of natural ground surveys, by the supervision engineer. 4. Creating cut, fill cross section. Technical office engineer, creates cut, fill cross section, after the availability of all data, natural ground surveys, horizontal and vertical alignment, in addition to the typical cross section. 5. Slope stake or catch point coordinates list by which a list of catch points can be created, and given to the surveyors. 6. Catch points setting out. Setting out catch points and request for approval is a must before landing any equipment or machines. These points are the boundaries of cut or fill. It is where the side slope of the road cross section, meets the natural ground, right and left of the road sector. They are not at fixed horizontal distances laterally from the road axis due to the different levels along the road profile grade on the one hand, and the difference and change of the natural ground levels on the other hand. The surveyor set out these points to form an irregular longitudinal path to both sides of the road. Site activities and machinery. 1. Dozer and excavation start. Bulldozers are moved to the cut areas whose widths and lengths are previously assigned by catch points. Bulldozers start cutting, provided that the dozer's journey does not exceed 60 meters, which is the optimum distance to obtain the best operating rates. The materials engineer from time to time follows up on the excavation product validity. The instructions must be clear and strict for the dozer operator to separate the valid materials away from the invalid ones. Since nobody can predict the percentage of valid to invalid material, the pricing engineer has to assume 50% for each. To be one of the obligatory risks of this type of item. 2. Bottom of subgrade. 
Dozer keeps on cutting until reaches approximately the bottom of the subgrade level. Three, transfer valid material to backfill area. Valid materials are transported internally to the backfilling area using a loader and dump trucks. If we have an excess of valid material, it must not be transferred quickly to the public dumps, it could be needed later. It is subject to the vision of the site project manager and has no relation to the pricing process. 4. Transfer invalid material to public dump. Invalid materials are immediately transported externally to public dumps using a loader and dump trucks. Enumerating the internal and external trips of each dump truck is a must. 5. Grader and compactor work. After reaching the approximate levels of bottom of subgrade, the grader equipment starts to perform the final grade levels, water spraying, and compaction, adjusting the cross slope and superelevation. Six inspection request submittal to the supervision for approval. That was excavation in ordinary soil method of statement. We'll meet again next lecture to analyze the cost and pricing the same item. Thank you and have a nice day.